Hi everyone, welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how to manage your one-touch buttons for the scan feature set. Now, the scan feature set, if I go to my send function here, this is my address book. Essentially, these are the addresses that are stored in the machine that I can scan to. Now, these squares here, the one, two, three, four, five, uh, et cetera, up the line are your one-touch keys. These are where we put our high use or high frequency scanners. Um, those where it's an inconvenience to access the address book. Go down three, five, 10, 15 pages, find their name, select OK, put their document in the tray and hit start. The one-touch keys are for quick and easy access to specific address books. Um, in this video specifically today, we're going to be discussing how to edit these one-touch buttons from the web user interface. So, without further ado, let's get started. In order to access the web UI of the copier, you need to open up a web browser, and you also need the IP address of the copier in question. If you're unsure about how to find the IP address, please see our video on finding the IP address of your Kyocera copier. Once you have the IP address, enter it into the web browser like you would any normal website. You may get a your connection is not private. Don't worry about this. Hit advanced and then proceed. And that will take you directly into the copier itself. From here, on the left hand side, you'll see an option for address book and then machine address book. It is important that whatever address we're intending to add to that one touch key field is also stored in our local address book. So I'm gonna take myself for example, uh, Sam Hammond, I'm right here, I'm in the address book. What I'd like to do is I'd like to add myself to the one touch key. The way that we do this is over on the left hand side, underneath the address book field, we go to one touch key. Now, whatever key we want, key one, key two, etc., corresponds to key one, key two, key three, etc., on the screen. So I'm going to put myself in key two. So I'll go to settings, and now it's asking me for my display name and my and my destination. It will pull both of these fields from our address book. So I'll go to address book, and I'll try to find the person that I want to add to that spot. I can either search for their name uh, here or I can manually select it. So I'll select that and hit click Submit. And then I will click Submit again. What it will do is it will add that one touch key with my name on it. So now if we go back to our field here and I hit Reset to repull the data we need, there I am. I am in the one touch key. The same works for deleting uh, users from the one touch key. So if I go back to my control panel, you'll see in key two, I have the option to delete. If I do this, it'll confirm. I'll click OK, and it will remove them from the one touch key location. And as we can see, that change after a quick reset will be reflected here, and my name is no longer displayed. In today's video, we discussed how to manage the one touch keys of your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP uh, from the web user interface of the copier. My name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. Thank you for stopping by and have a great day.